Welcome back. Here we are again talking about the tricks of scene mode and the file menu. Let's get right into it. As previously mentioned, you can go into scene mode by pushing the left thumbstick upwards. Here you can see first of all the selection tool. Right now, as we only have one object, there is not much to choose from. So let's go ahead and create some more with our next tool, surprisingly called the Create tool. Scene mode, similar to edit mode, has an extra panel for more options and just like with edit mode you can bring it up by pushing the left thumbstick up already in scene mode. If you bring up the options there are a couple of objects you can create like a cube, sphere, cylinder, etc. You can scale them by moving your right thumbstick up or down. Since we have more objects now I can demonstrate how you can switch between them. So with the selection tool just point at the one you want and pull the main trigger. Raycasting is preset here, but if you pull your right thumbstick down, you turn Raycast off and you have to get closer in space to select something. If you click somewhere where there's no object or anything, you'll select everything as a whole. If you select something, however, that's gonna become your active object that you can work with in edit mode. All the others will not be affected by commands. If an object is selected, and you pull down the secondary trigger, or as it's also called the grip, and start pushing or pulling your thumbstick at the same time, you can bring the object closer or move it away. The selection tool's extra menu is the document outline. You can select objects here as well, or hide, or lock them, duplicate or delete them. Or even rename or export them one by one if you want. With the clone tool you can duplicate objects only by pointing and clicking at them or just drag them out instantly. With the delete tool, same idea, pointing and deleting. The last thing here is boolean operations. Let's start with merging and joining and the difference between them. So if you merge two objects together, you cannot separate them anymore. But if you join them by pressing the context menu and bringing up the poly transforms tab and press the separate command with the right settings, it's going to split. Merge command welds the topology together, but join is sort of overlapping them, meaning that by merging something, you'll create a manifold object, everything intersecting is deleted, it's printable, but joining, well, not necessarily, because obviously you can join stuff even if they are not intersecting, but if they do, it makes a non-manifold object and then it's not printable. It's important to mention that currently you cannot select multiple objects at the same time, as you know we're constantly developing the software, but right now if you want to move multiple objects at the same time, you'd want to join them first, move them and separate. The next boolean operation is subtract, which is going to take out the pink object from the blue one, and the intersection is going to leave behind what the selected objects have in common. Let's move on to the file menu. You can create a new scene here, load an already existing file, save as or quick save, export and import, and exit the app. When exporting, you can choose to export everything or just the selected object in OBJ, FBX, STL or GLB. To keep your colors you're gonna need to choose GLB or FBX. If you're not ready with your model yet, you should opt for save as other than exporting your scene because saving as will create an SL3D file that is ShapeLab's own file format and it keeps the colors and the user preferences. We have some template objects you can import. You can also add reference images to help you out. They are resizable and also repositionable. 
So this is it for this one. Next up, I'm going to talk about what's in the context menu. Thank you guys for watching and see you there.